As a kid, you missed a lot of races because a lot of things, school, little responsibilities, but you never missed a Charlotte race. You know, it was a, it was a big deal. I tested an Xfinity car there in 96 and crashed after about four laps. I thought my career was over. And then we went there to run the all-star race as rookies. Isn't this cool that we're in this race with all the best, all the all-stars? We're not an all-star, we're the rookies. These are the guys that I've watched growing up, Dale Jarrett, my dad, Rusty Wallace, all these, I'm a racer. And this all-star race, I'm an all-star. It never crossed my mind that we had any shot to win. The car was pretty competitive throughout the race, bounced it off to the wall in turn four one time. I think that actually made the car faster. And then in the last 10 laps, we did some things to the car that we learned in practice that Tony Jr. was working on, and it made this car a rocket ship, especially as the night, as the track cooled off and it got to nighttime. And now here's the big man himself, Dale Sr., giving the hug to his son. What a great moment. He came in his owner clothes to Victory Lane. He was there when I got there, which was quick. And usually he would just come in there, see me, tell everybody, oh, that was great, and leave. What about that kid there, Sr.? Oh, damn, I couldn't believe it. I thought, thought I could get up there and give Jared some trouble. I looked in the mirror and hear this thing come. I don't know what Tony and them guys did or what this kid's did. He adjusted it on the wall back there, it looked like, and got it running better. And that was the only one that I can remember where he was really in his street clothes, where he celebrated with his team his, as the owner. And uh, I think he was very, very proud of that team for that moment. We came in there, really, it was underdogs. Nobody had us picked to win. We didn't even have ourselves picked to win. The, that, was, that was the thing about Tony Jr. and Tony Sr. both is they always believed they could win. They believed that they should be the fastest in every practice, every practice. They believe they should get every pole, and they believe they should win every race. And I don't, I'm not overstating that one bit. And, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, it's great to be here, this is neat, you know. And he's sitting there going, all right, let's get to practicing for those last 10 laps so, so we can win. Okay. Sure, whatever, dude.